Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing some more DIYs for you guys, but this time it is all based around TikTok. I mentioned in my last video that I am stupidly obsessed with TikTok and I'm 27 years old and it, whatever. I was not going to do this video, but then I ended up making these bleached, um, this sweatsuit thing and I put it on my Instagram and I've never had more people message me for a video or on my Instagram ever, period. <laughs> so a lot of people wanted me to do this, but I thought, well, I'll do more than just one for the video. So let's go ahead and get started with these TikTok DIYs. So for the first DIY, this is actually my second time making this today. The first time I did it was a disaster. <laughs> It was bad, but um, it's actually my second attempt at making it in general. Um, I made it the other day, and I didn't, I didn't love it. Like I, it was really pretty. It had a great texture. It was frothy and creamy. But I, I hate the taste of instant coffee. It's not my thing. Um, so I'm gonna make it a little bit different today. But I'm still gonna use the instant coffee because it helps it whip. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make my. Um, viral TikTok whipped coffee. Let's see how it turns out. So what the recipe calls for, I mean, if you're watching this, you've probably already made this, <laughs> so you know, but it calls for sugar and instant coffee and water. So I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. I'm just using this raw cane sugar that I got at Sprouts. And you could do this to however sweet you want it. And then I'm only gonna add one tablespoon. Um, I think you're supposed to do equal parts instant coffee and equal parts sugar and then water, I don't know, but I'm actually only gonna add one tablespoon of instant coffee because instead of water, I'm going to use actual coffee because the instant coffee just tastes like dirt to me. I want it to taste like coffee and so I made my favorite kind of coffee in my French press and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a half, just like that. And we're gonna whip it up. So when I, the first time I made this a few days ago, I used a whisk by hand and I sat there for like five to seven minutes in absolute pain <laughs> and it was getting nowhere. No color changing, no frothing. I was like, what the heck, this is ridiculous. So then I remembered, thank God, that I have an electric whisk. So this, I would say, comes in absolute handy. Um, I've seen people use a electric frother. Maybe that will work for you. I don't have any batteries in this, so I don't know. But I'm just gonna go in with this. Hold on to your cup the whole time, or you will have a repeat of what I just did before this. All right, so we're just gonna whisk this until it froths up. She's strong. Oh, but I'm telling you, using coffee, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so now that we have this whipped concoction, I've seen people make it like runnier, but like mine is like whipped cream. Um, if you wanted it a little bit runnier, you could add more coffee to it. So now what you do is you take your cup of ice and whatever milk, I'm just using unsweetened vanilla. And, oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like peanut butter. Now you just mix it up. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. <laughs> Make it with coffee. Make it with, with coffee instead of water. Oh my gosh. So much better. Now I get the hype. It wasn't good at first. I'm actually gonna add more coffee. <laughs> I just want it to taste like coffee, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, you guys. I wanted to like this so bad because it's so pretty and the texture is bomb, but I couldn't get behind just the instant coffee. But this combination is everything. Mmm, it's so good. It wasn't this good the other day and now I'm just like pumped. 
All you gotta do is just tweak the recipe a little bit. And maybe there are other instant coffees out there that taste better. I don't know, but this one isn't my favorite, but if you add coffee, it's so good. All right, so that is the first DIY. Now we are gonna move on to DIY number two. Rubber bands, some bleach, and your sweats. So I got these on Amazon. So I got some just some regular black sweats on Amazon. It was $8 for the pants and $8 for the shirt. Comes in a million different sizes. So I just got black. You can get any color that you want, um, but this is what we're gonna be doing today. This is how I got this. And it came out in like a, a grayish, greenish with pink and a bunch of random colors. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and use for this sweatsuit. So I just started by laying the shirt flat on the ground and just doing this twisting motion in the end. It's what I saw the girl do in the TikTok I watched. Um, and then I just start by tying rubber bands to hold the circle and then just adding a bunch of them to add lines and tucking things in. And then I just crinkled up the pant leg and again tied it with some rubber bands. I did the other one and then I just added some random rubber bands to add lines and to make sure it gets a cool pattern. Okay, now I am no professional tie dyer. <laughs> I do think, however, I wrapped these ones better than I wrapped the ones I'm wearing, so I think this one is gonna have cooler lines, but we will see. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them to the bathroom and I'll show you what I do from there. So now I'm just gonna throw them into the bathtub and give them a good rinse with water on both sides. Then I'm gonna try to wring out some of the water so that they're not super wet, so some of the bleach will still absorb because you don't want it to be too wet so that it doesn't change colors. Now I'm just gonna take the bleach and I am just going to spray the crap out of these on both sides. Um, I sprayed it a couple times and then I left the bathroom and then after a few hours, I come and spray it again just periodically through the day and because you really want that bleach to change the color of it and to really soak in. So those are gonna sit in the tub um, overnight. Um, I think I left mine for like a day and a half and I came in a couple of times to respray them and flip them. Um, you can really just leave it to your liking. I left it long enough to almost like disintegrate some of the black. <laughs> like it's like almost like majority gray, the rest like black splotches. These ones might turn out a little different because I wetted mine a lot or I wet mine a lot more this pair I like saturated them in water and I was like why aren't they getting lighter so these ones are already getting lighter like they're already turning pink because I didn't wet them as much so these might turn out different but really you can do whatever pattern thing you want I have no experience in tie-dye I haven't tie-dyed something since like second grade so I don't know patterns I don't know anything I'm just going off of what I saw on TikTok so I love how these turned out. Um, I had a lot of people saying they loved them and that they wanted to try it. So we will see how these turn out, but for now let's move on to TikTok number three. Ignore my busted nails. They are ratchet. They were so cute too. Okay, so for this next and last TikTok DIY, you are going to need plastic wrap, parchment paper, a plain t-shirt, any t-shirt, an iron, and scissors and a printer. So I saw this one and thought it was super cool. You can screen print basically anything onto a t-shirt, onto any cloth, and I thought it was super cool because you can make your own custom shirts, bags, whatever. Um, if you have a logo or if you just want like a funny, you know, custom tee, like maybe something from the office, I don't know. So I'm gonna try it and see if it works. I've seen multiple TikToks of people doing it, so I wanted to give it a try. So I'm gonna try to find a picture that I wanna put on this shirt and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my picture. I'm just gonna cut out this little rainbow and I'm gonna try to get it all around like each individual ridge to try to cut it out so there's no background at all. Okay, so now that I have my little cutout, I'm gonna take the shirt and lay it flat on the ground. And so I'm gonna be just putting the rainbow right here and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. Now you're gonna take some plastic wrap. I don't need very much for my size thing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap plastic wrap 
And I'm gonna kind of, I think I want to trim away like all this excess. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm going to. So I'm going to put it where I want it. And now I'm going to take some parchment paper. You just place it over it. And then you take your iron. And it says to do it for five minutes. <sighs> I'm nervous to remove it. Okay, now you just. Oh, it's cute. So I'm gonna let it cool. It definitely obviously has, you can see some of the ridges um, from the plastic, but that doesn't really bother me that much. So here is how the shirt turned out. It's so freaking cute. It might be a little like lopsided on my boob. And I just think it looks so cute, oh my gosh. On the um, TikTok I saw, it said it was machine washable. You can put it in the dryer. I don't know if I will, but oh my gosh, it's like I have a brand new shirt. That is too, too cute. This is so cute. I want to wear it. I'm going to go make like six million more shirts. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely obsessed. This might be my favorite DIY of the video. Holy crap, it's so cute. All right, so that is all for my TikTok DIYs. I'm obsessed with how this shirt turned out. I'm obsessed with how the coffee turned out. Make it with brewed coffee instead of water. It is so much better. If you like the taste of coffee, you're going to like this. I'm not a huge fan of just the um, instant coffee. I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise. The neighborhood pickup is here to get everybody's junk and it's very loud. I'm gonna go finish my coffee and let me know if you guys try any of these. I think it's so fun to see how creative other people are and that they've come up with these things on TikTok and it's been a fun app to pass the time since this is crazy, <laughs> crazy times we live in. Hopefully we're on the, the mend and everything's gonna go back to normal soon. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for 600 plus subscribers, that's crazy. I don't know why anybody watches my videos, but I enjoy making them. And hopefully once this all settles down, I can get back to my old regular stuff and, and go thrifting again and do some more dollar store DIYs. But I just wanna say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.